All right, guys, after having this focus fixed, I don't drive it very often, but when I did, I figured that the, uh, from sitting so much, the tires was making noise. So I drove it about 20 miles or so. With doing that, though, I kept hearing, uh, I kept hearing it roaring like a wheel bearing noise. It came back and decided to check it. Now, if you see, here's the wheel. And I have it jacked up and put on stands, but, well. Hmm. When I checked it before, it was flopping around. Still roaring pretty bad. Um, I checked and, uh, I didn't have the uh, axles torqued all the way on, but now that it's tightened up, you know, there's no more flop in it. But the problem is it's still roaring. So that being said, I ordered uh, these Auto Shack loaded steering knuckles for new bearings, hubs. You know, there's two of them, a left and a right. And I'm gonna change them and I'm going to show you how and give a review off of the product too so alright so as you see I removed the wheel uh, you come back here and you got these little caps that snap off Hold on. all right now with the uh, cap off you can see if there's a uh, hex head bolt that's inside of there to remove the caliper once you remove the caliper, then you can remove the caliper bracket and then remove the rotor. As a piece of side information, uh, there's not a lot of threads to it, but uh, it's actually an H7 that fits it and uh, to remove it. They're not really tight, but uh, at least you'll know which hex, which hex uh, socket to use. Now that I got those removed, the next thing we're going to remove is these springs right here on the brakes. I'm just going to take a flat screwdriver and pop them loose. Um, looking at the brakes, considering I don't drive this car a lot, I'm not going to, I'm not going to change the uh, brakes or rotors. You see that spring came out fairly easily. So now I can pull the caliper. I can pull the caliper out. Just like so yeah the brakes are still good so I'm not gonna worry about changing them all right and then the next thing will be to pull the bracket loose the caliper bracket I believe these are 14s I'll I'll check and let you know okay so I got the caliper bracket removed these are actually a 15 millimeter not a 14 I apologize if I confused anybody uh, the next thing is going to be taking the uh, um, the tie rod end loose. Um, in the top, you'll see that it's got a a hex. What fits this is a H5 socket, and this is a 15 millimeter right here. Okay, when removing this tie rod, if you don't want to mess up your uh, little boot here with a pickle fork you take and you leave this uh, nut threaded in most of the way and uh, you take and just pop it on the top with a hammer and it'll break it loose that way you don't don't ever leave the take the nut off and try and hit the end of the tie rod in because you'll damage your threads and then have to change it don't ever and don't ever twist the tie rod in once you get it off once it's loose because as long as you go back together you won't need an alignment right away i mean it would be best to get one but if you're on a budget you can just put it back together and it'll be pretty much what it was to start with okay now the lower ball joint uh my little dust shield here is damaged a little bit but uh on this side it takes a t50 and on the adjacent side it takes a 15 millimeter and that's how you get the uh, lower ball joint loose 
Okay, so for the lower ball joint, I just stuck a pickle fork in and was able to just kind of shake it a little bit and it popped loose. Um, the upper where the uh, where the strut boats into it at, this is an 18 millimeter. I had to impact it out because, you know, impact will fit in here, but uh, it was tight. I had to use an impact on it. Then uh, pulling this axle nut loose, that's 32 millimeter. I had to impact it off. Uh, and now this knuckle is ready to come off and uh, replace with new bearings and hub assembly. Okay, so now here's what I did. Uh, I got the axle out of it, out of this uh, wheel, wheel bearing hub assembly. As you can see, yeah, it don't look healthy, but um, it just slides right off the strut, and then it just came off that ball joint. It's so super easy. Um, now I'm just gonna go back together with the uh, new piece and uh, do the same thing on the other side so now I unpackaged the new uh, hub assembly and if you look it comes with a whole new axle nut for it and uh, overall uh, it looks really nice and uh, looks like it's you know built out of high quality I mean it's actually pretty good product um, I'll get it put on and show you the finished product just going in reverse of the steps that we took to get it off and uh, hopefully I can get a good review today on it okay so I got everything back together now and uh, this clip right here uh, just a heads up it was kind of a bitch to put on so uh, I hooked the top and then hooked the bottom and left this area down here unhooked and then took a pair of needle nose and flipped it over in there it was much easier that way than trying to hook the uh, top and the bottom on and then try and uh, hook it into the holes for the brakes but now I'm fixing to go do the same thing on the other side okay now I got everything put back together on the driver's side and the passenger side took it for a test drive and Lo and behold, it did good. There was no issues. I, I heard a little bit of noise, but it, it wasn't like a wheel bearing noise. It was definitely uh, that, and it's been sitting in my driveway for two years. And uh, hasn't been drove at all. I, I bought it for a family member, but they ended up not needing it. So it's just kind of sat here as a spare vehicle that I figured I'd use to make these videos on. But. Uh, any questions or comments? I think the uh, loaded knuckles from uh, Auto Shack is actually a uh, pretty good deal. I didn't have to take the old uh, the old uh, hub assemblies out and take them to a, you know like a tire shop and have them do it. Um, so it was just an easy, quick in and out. It took about 30 minutes to each side, and uh, that was also including with me videoing it. Um, now it's done. It's now a good, reliable vehicle. And uh, if you have any questions, feel free to comment and just ask.